Here we see a simple passive system where the rockfall netting is draped over the surface of the railway embankment. It is used only in sections where the loose rock can be found on the surface and are at risk of falling onto the railway. Drapery systems are held in place by rock anchors. A catch fence is an active rock fall system designed for moving rocks to crash into. The fence is designed to give considerably in catching the rocks but not break, even at high energies. Containment of waste is critical to all mines. Water contamination from mining poses one of the top three ecological threats in the world today, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Safe disposal of mine waste is key to managing this threat. Increasingly, regulations demand that the mine waste is handled on site. For example, instead of pumping waste into a river system, Mines must treat their own tailings on site. Waste containment is important in many civil engineering areas, but the scale of operations and diversity of materials being handled in mining presents particular challenges. Consider uranium. Management of water contamination and mine waste invariably requires engineering solutions around drainage and containment. Geosynthetic products are increasingly used in these solutions. Some common examples are a dam created to store the mine tailings often uses a geomembrane, possibly a geosynthetic clay liner, geotextiles and drainage systems. A heap leach pad used in the gold mining industry requires a geomembrane, geotextiles and a drainage system to contain aggressive elements used to extract gold from large volumes of ore. The engineer's challenge is to lay out the mine so that the movement of water is controlled and waste is contained so that it can be properly treated. Key to containment is geosynthetic lining systems. These enable engineers to build safe receptacles in which to store the waste. Geomembranes are most commonly used as they are impermeable, flexible and broadly inert to mining waste. Composite lining system use a geomembrane as well as a geosynthetic clay liner and are used in more aggressive waste solutions. Geotextiles are used to protect the geomembranes from puncture, minimizing in this way the potential for leakage into the surrounding soil. The geotextile and geomembrane together will need to withstand very large loads, particularly during installation. Installation crews need to be careful never to drive installation equipment directly on the lining systems. In this instance, aggregate is being spread over the lining system as a drainage layer. Geotextiles give engineers options. In this remote mine site, the geotextile is being laid out for use as a filtration layer along the side walls of a tailings dam. The geotextile has high UV resistance, which is important as it will remain exposed over a long period as the dam fills. To aid the installation process, the geotextile was stitched into large panels. The design ensured that the seam strength was optimised for this particular application. When the tailings dam is full, the geosynthetic components are no longer visible. Liquid in the tailings will evaporate over time and ultimately the dam will be capped, which will be another use for geosynthetic products. There are a wide range of mining processes and extracted products. Each process and product combination 
will generate its own waste stream with its own unique chemical properties. The engineer must ensure compatibility between the chemical properties of the waste and the geosynthetic material used for its containment. For example, the long-term performance of the geosynthetic depends largely on the type of polymer used, or in the case of geosynthetic clay liners, also on the mineralogy and chemical makeup of the bentonite present in the GCL. An emerging use of geosynthetics in mining is dewatering, which is simply reducing the water content within waste material. Consider a mining waste extract that is only 10% solid. A dewatering process can increase this to 40% solid, thereby reducing the volume of material to be disposed of. This enables more efficient use of space for containment structures such as tailings dams. Geosynthetic dewatering tubes can be filled with waste and left to settle over time. The geotextile allows the water to pass through while retaining the solid. The dewatering system arrives on site in the form of woven geotextile tubes. The waste material is pumped inside the tube. The water within the waste will leak through the tube's surface, leaving granular material behind. The granular material builds up on the inside surface of the tube and forms a filter layer, which further enhances the filtration properties of the geotextile. After a period of time, generally months, the tube is cut away. Excavation machines can then simply dump the remaining material. When the material is drier, it is far easier to handle and takes up less space in a tailings dam, giving the dam a much longer working life. Environmental concerns are keys to mining. Engineers are concerned with a mine's impact to the environment both during its operating lifetime and after. During the operation of the mine, efforts are made to limit the impacts of erosion and to control the movement of water around the site. After decommissioning, the mine site must be remediated. The site and any structures on it must remain stable for the long term. Water coming off the site or into the groundwater table must be uncontaminated. Mines often have a massive impact on the natural environment. They can remove large parts of the surface soil and the earth's natural resistance to erosion, that is, vegetative root systems. The newly created mine environment itself is also particularly susceptible to erosion. They are often constructed from existing soil and fill material. Consider ramps, bund walls and embankments. Major storm events can have a massive impact if structures are not designed with adequate protections. Geosynthetic products are often used to assist this design. They can be used to hold soil in place, help new vegetation establish, and to control the movement of water around the site. 